Greetings from Jerusalem. As you look out and see the city, it's quite an area to be here, to walk where Jesus walked, to breathe the same air that Jesus breathed, to see the areas that our Lord touched with his disciples and the life. We're going up to see Gethsemane. I'm reading out of Matthew. This is the 26th chapter, 36th verse. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little further, he fell to the face of the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for just one hour, he asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away and once more and prayed a third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Be awake. Stand ready. Don't let the Son of Man come and find you sleeping. This is the word of God for God's people. Thanks be to God.